It's story time. Story time about the resounding, everlasting gospel of love. That always gets uh, Mickey and Minnie really happy. And they're both in agreement about one thing. It's been a festering uh, time of fear and tear far too long. They don't want it no more. They're saying enough with that. And the way to do it is to let love cast out all fear. That is how to prevail. And only love alone shall win. And uh, so guess what? It's a small world after all. It's a time for the hearts of the children to turn to the fathers and the fathers to the children. And when it's, uh, when the word foretold that, it foretold the hearts of all children turning to all their parents. And uh, hopefully that shall be ahead or this earth would be destroyed by the um, curse of Malachi as foretold in Zephaniah 1.1, 1, 1, Isaiah 24. Deuteronomy 18.18, 18, Malachi 4.6, Deuteronomy 18.18. 18. But if people won't listen to Moses or uh, Jesus, Matthew 24.22, about the total oblivion that would come days as Noah. So it came to pass that Nicodemus slept on it, and uh, on the way home, he was like, I'm going again. I'm, and so he went back again for a second day to hear the everlasting gospel of love, hope, and peace to resound again. So it came about the next day that he gave his ear once again to Isa Yeshua Jesus one more time as Emmanuel spoke uh, because he spoke with such authority because he was the carpenter of the ages, the word of God. Therefore, Nicodemus listened closely unto that risen majesty of majesties who was standing within the splendor of his magnificence and his beneficence of love, charity, and uh, benevolence for all went before him and oozed out of him love, peace, and uh, forgiveness for all. So he listened then carefully to that first Alpha and last Omega as he told the people gathered in uh, that temple's uh, outer court uh, in the right, right in the center of Capernaum uh, that blessed is the wise man who, who seeks after truth and it, there was about 24 of them uh, and they were all listened intently because he taught that when the wise found such truth and rested upon it forever he would always be unafraid of all those who wanted to disturb him once he settled on the truth the truth transcended all imagination and nothing else that anyone ever said again unto him would ever have any relevance or importance in his life once he knew the truth of love was paramount. And he then stated that if such a man, a person of love, goes to God to bring forth the goodness of his love, his benevolence, which is in him, not it's not like no one would ever need to look outside of uh, themselves his love is within and those who love are born of god and know god because god is love first john 4 7 literal in every sense of the meaning so um uh, only then can uh can he open up, up from that time to see such a one leaving behind it's time to leave behind animal sacrifices of the age of law he taught and uh any soul could be saved by by love is what he taught and praise god that um it was time when uh the lord would be talking about the lost people who have committed the unforgivable sin blasphemy of the Holy Spirit, letting, letting their love wax cold so that they do not walk with the Spirit, so that they are under condemnation from heaven. But know that there is no uh, earthly sorrow that heaven cannot heal, including all rock-hard hearts of hatred, bitterness, racism, and animosity toward one another. 
So as our Lord of Eternity talked, uh, Nicodemus was getting excited because he noted as well that if a man doesn't bring forth the goodness uh, from within him, overpowering wickedness and double-mindedness would instead come for, instead come forth from his flesh, and such can destroy him in accordance with the word of God. God's people are destroyed for their lack of knowledge, Hosea 4, 6. So the Lord then declared that if any child of God's love speaks with one who is reprobate, one who has turned off their light of love, one who opposes the whole meaning of love, because love only wants to do one thing, be more loving. And anyone opposed to that are antichrist and are on the road of perishing, letting their love wax cold, having the power, um, uh, uh, the appearance of godliness, but denying the power thereof of love. And those cross over into being part of the walking dead as they transform their love, God-given love, into a noun that is dead and dying. So uh, he stressed that people need to stir up their love, let it once again be as when they were a little child, uh, and uh, let their love come forth again as a verb in motion, in action, moving forward. Uh, within such is all the law of God and uh, the fullness of his loving grace and the obsolete nature of all religion opposing that truth. So he, he taught that such a sense-sick souls uh, walking not in love, standing against that, would even be looked upon as if they were beasts. Because uh, just as beasts devour one another, so also do unloving people of that sort devour one another by way of their un outgoing, unrepentant, wretched deeds of lovelessness born from the darkness of ignorance. Furthermore, our son of love then announced uh, boldly that if a soul in hell flees westwards, he would find the fire of ignorance. And if he tor turns southward, he will find the, the fires of stupidity. And uh, if he turns northward, he would find the fires of foolishness. Uh, and uh, he would find seething fire would meet him once again. And uh, But he would never have to worry about the, the fire of unknowing, of being, uh, uh, so that never more would they have to worry about being destroyed for lack of knowledge. So he preached to one and all to stop embracing ignorance to reason things out in accordance with the spirit of love and let where there's two or three gathered love shall be in their center if they look towards heaven for that is who he is always hanging right above us in every literal and metaphorical way that that could be taken and he taught that nor does such uh, any sorry souls, loveless, walking towards their own perishing, uh, n nor shall they ever find their, their own way up to heaven above, because the Lord has given us a pass to cut through all the chase. Just love and everything is done, and all who call upon the name of the Lord is saved, and his name is love. Let it arise, let it come on, be as little children is what he uh, taught and uh, flee unto that space, into that spot of love's illumination, overflowing through the liquid living water of his everlasting kingdom age hope, and be saved, hear the voice of love. For if one does not find the way of escape from love in the day when he was in the body, uh, he would never find it during their day of the judgment brought on by their own judgment for their own foolishness and their own ignorance of letting their light of love to go out. For that is a paramount uh, and part and parcel of insanity to let our everlasting light of love to go out. For it is the energy that lights our way for all of infinity and beyond if that were possible. So Jesus emphasized and stressed all of that. And he stressed that we are God, John 10. Uh, angels made uh, in the flesh uh, with uh, higher than the 
previous angels, because the first is last and the last is first, and the glory of his latter house he declared through Micah would be greater than that of the former days. And that's why Satan would hate us for over 2,000 years and be the accuser of the brethren up until the day when the kingdom age covenant has been given, and it has. And uh, then uh, Satan could no longer go before the Lord and be the accuser of the brethren, or else he would have made God into a liar because in his kingdom age covenant, the Lord God has now saying to one and all, I will be your God, you will be my people. I will forgive your iniquity and never remember it. If he remembered our sin, uh, Satan would make him into a liar. So he had to be removed in accordance with Daniel 12, 1. Michael uh, has stood up and removed him, the archangel. So woe unto all those within the grip of burning preached our Prince of Peace. For such shall never destroy their flesh openly, since it shall render down their souls ever so secretly and subtly and quietly, and prepare them for their everlasting companions of the very worst of oppression's everlasting possession found in the dead and blackened flames of the uh, smoke that has been snuffed out to leave them but as dust as they were created dust shall they remain without the spirit if their light of love lights not their way woe therefore unto such captives preach the lord for they shall be evermore uh, be bound in caverns of blaze until perishing happen their spirit walking in the endless places unsearchable by the light of love so Jesus warned about such abrupt endings of lovelessness. And uh, Yeshua HaMashiach, he pointed out as well that the destruction of unloving, ungodly people would be sudden in the end and would become the subject of such angelic uh, sadness and yet rejoicing. For then only love can be alive. For all godless reprobates of love are but like dumb dogs they couldn't even bark because they were raving mad and biting secretly against all good goodness, things of the spirit that would bring love. And such incorrigible people unknowingly create their very own uh, destruction of lovelessness while making such devastation of desolation to come forth within their own paranoid minds like that of a schizophrenic nor shall Elohim, our trinity of the Godhead, ever send any poor souls to a place of perishing, declared our Prince of Peace. For uh, his covenant has always been everlasting, and he everlastingly has the words, I shall be your God, you shall be my people, I shall forgive your iniquity and never remember your sin. Evermore shall that ring forth in the kingdom age as it was foretold in Jeremiah 1.10 and Haggai 2.2. 2. For the Lord, he spoke of the day when the kingdom of God would tear down all imagination of all not built solely upon the unconditional love of truest love that always transcends always all rules. For love only loves and that is all love can ever really do so forgiveness comes to every doomed one that would send themselves there uh, unless they let it totally die out and commit blasphemy of the holy spirit to let their love die such hell-bound souls of perishing uh, have already turned their faces away from their heavenly father's love and they condemn others uh foolishly as they walk in the darkness of uh unrepentant uh, condemnation over all brethren. And uh, so then Jesus went on to tell all of those gathered under his blessed word that day that such hardened hearts of lovelessness have fashioned to their own doom by keeping alive their own inner cancers, spiritual cancers of unforgiveness, to bringing them to the point where they no longer have any hope of normal lives because they have foolishly put blinders of animosity upon their very own eyes. 
and uh, such regrettably he taught they would refuse to believe the truth after all it's as though uh, such confused people spiritual uh, schizophrenic uh, and uh, that is uh, the most insidious disease that uh, has took my uh, my beloved Linda my wife of 20 something years from me and it is a terrible it's it's just like waking up um, Nancy and Ronald Reagan. Ronald didn't even know who Nancy was anymore. Alzheimer's. It's just as bad as Alzheimer's. Maybe even far worse because it makes people into uh, loners. They push away all, all people and they end up isolating themselves more than we have all been. Pray for uh, my beloved wife, Linda, to and the Lord uh, knew that uh, such people opposed to the ways of love would only have wasted knowledge since they would refuse to believe in the healing power of love and they would refuse believing that there is no uh, negativity upon earth, that the positivity of heaven cannot heal and love leads the way with his peace, his tranquility, his serenity, his hope leading the parade. And uh, he foretold that the time would come in the end times, in the kingdom age, when Satan would, would be forced into looking at all truth. And it is written in Jeremiah 30, 24, that all the world shall consider the truths uh, of the kingdom age covenant at the end. So he taught that... Uh, no more shall the wise wanting to shine as the stars uh, walk away f uh, from being flames of God's everlasting light of love. And never again shall the lake of fire hold any allure and be in reserve for those holding out their hearts. And uh, it was a powerful, powerful meeting, I'm telling you, and it was just getting going.